In this video, I'm going to show you how to get all the lost balls in the Around the World in 80 Days course on Walkabout Mini Golf. For hole number one, we're going to proceed to the end of the hole here. And on the right hand side along the, the wall over here, just behind the security sign, you're going to go behind this luggage carrying uh, device. And on the floor behind it by the wheel, you'll find the ball. And this is what it looks like. For hole number two, you're going to go through the security sensor and you, since you don't have any weapons, presumably you won't get flagged, but on the left by this table with the uh, briefcase or just suitcase, I guess, you'll grab it and this is what the ball looks like. For hole number three, you're going to proceed to the end of the course. You're going to go left up the stairs. The ball will actually be on the carousel with all the luggage on the right hand side. About halfway up here, you'll see behind the suitcase here, it's just resting along there. This is where it is and this is what the ball looks like. In hole number four, this is quite tricky, but from the beginning, you're going to turn to the right and you're going to look over this kind of conveyor belt here, right under this gear or this pulley system. You'll see the ball is hidden behind there. That is really hard to find. My gosh. For hole number five, at the beginning, you're going to turn around and you're going to look in this bin over here because the ball is in the bin. Who would have done that? Who would have thrown the ball in the bin? Anyway, this is what the ball looks like. For hole number six, you're going to go to the left to the helm. So this is the, the coal cooking area and you'll go behind the wheel on the right hand side. You'll see there's an anchor point where you'd normally like tie ropes. And just behind this like, you know, anchor point, you'll see the ball is on the outside end, the edge over there. And this is what the ball looks like. Kind of cool. For hole number seven, you're going to take the elevator to the next section. So whack your ball in the, the, you know, the pipes. You're going to take the elevator. The ball is actually on the track on the right hand side. You should see a glimpse of it on the right track here as we get there. There it is. And then just go in here on the platform, turn around. And if you look on the track here, just on the left hand side, there it is. Go ahead and pick it up. And this is what the ball looks like. For hole number eight, the ball can be found on the right hand side. So looking at all the scrap, you're going to go to the machine that's over here and right behind it by the wheel here you'll see it's next to the wheel just like that go ahead and pick it up and this is what the ball looks like for hole number nine you're going to go up the course just like this on this platform and then we're going to go onto the bridge and we're going to turn around so that you can see it better so from here you're just going to turn around and we're going to look at that platform that very first one where the hole is and you'll see the ball is actually underneath on the beam here so from this angle you can crouch down and pick it up like this or you can fly whichever is easier for you for hole number 10, right at the start, you're actually going to look to the right over the edge over here because the ball is actually on the right hand side of this thing. So if we just walk around here just to get here. You'll see on the right hand side, the ball is in this little curve or groove, and that's where you'll find it on the outer edge. For hole number 11, you're going to proceed to the left to the first set of chairs on your left over here. And you're going to look at the armrest of the chair closest to the window, and you'll see the ball is in the armrest section. And this is what it looks like. For hole number 12, you're going to run across the bridge over where the hole is, and you'll see there's an instrument on the table over here, this gramophone thing, I think, with the vinyl discs. And you'll see at the legs or the feet of the table, if I just get a better angle, you'll see the ball is there by the feet of the table, and that's where you find it, this is what it looks like. For hole number 13, you're going to proceed to the table next to the piano, and this is going to have a cup on the table, and inside the cup you'll find a ball, and you can go ahead and, you know, just pull the ball out, that's where you get it, and this is what your tea bowl looks like, I guess. For hole number 14, we're going to proceed to a table on the far side over here and on the right. So it's this table that has a bag on the floor next to the chair. Right next to the bag, you'll see here the bowl is against the bag. Go ahead and pick it up. This is what the bowl looks like. At hole number 15, you're going to proceed to the spiral staircase, the big pillar over here behind the pillar and the plant here. You're going to see behind the pillar is the ball against it on this side. Go ahead and pick it up. This is what the ball looks like. For hole number 16, from the start of the course, you're going to turn left and you're going to go down the staircase, the spiral staircase. And you'll see here on the, like the beams, the steel beams right over here is where you can find the ball. It's just over there. It's about like halfway up the, the staircase. This is what the ball looks like. For hole number 17, if we're looking at the pool table from this side, we're going to go through the door on the right to the previous hole. So it's at the end of hole 16. You'll find the ball is actually on the ledge over here next to the railing, and that's what it looks like. 
For the final hole, number 18, from here, you're gonna turn to the left of the starting section, basically behind you, and behind the curtain is where you'll find the ball there in the corner. Go ahead and just suction it up like this and pull it up, and this is what the ball looks like. And these are what all the balls look like in the Around the World in 80 Days. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.